lesson 10. Why did you do that? Because you're stupid. In this lesson, we will learn how to import external 3D files into Modeler. These are weekly lessons. However, if you want to binge watch all the course videos, then join my early bird membership plan. So without further ado, let's start with this lesson. In this lesson, we will learn how we can import externally created 3D mesh. If you have used Autodesk Maya or 3D Studio Max or Blender and you want to import here inside Substance uh, 3D Modeler. So it's quite simple to do that. You just have to go to the file option and import mesh. Once you go to import mesh, you will click on no file selected. Choose your object. You can choose FBX uh, file, GLB file, GLTF op uh, and OBJ, USD, USDA. Also, uh, like USDZ and USDC. So the one I have uh, is bagand.obj, which I have given the link in the description below. You can download also and you can open it up. Okay. Now, this is created in the centimeters. So you can choose centimeters. Otherwise, you can keep it automatic. Now, in a Substance uh, 3D modeler, the up axis is usually Z axis. So I want the up axis to Z axis as well here. Otherwise, you can keep it automatic if you have no idea. Now I will press import and my model will be imported here. Okay. However, if you will notice that uh, if you click on it, you can move it, rotate it. Okay. And also, you can uh, scale it up, uh, like scale up and down. However, you cannot apply any sort of uh, like effect, like a tool on it. Okay. Like uh, if I select any tool, I cannot apply on this one. Plus I cannot paint on it. The reason is that because this is not a clay. So it's a mesh. So you have to first convert this mesh into a clay. So to do that, you can right click on it. Okay, select it, right click on it, and then click on convert to clay. And as soon it will be converted, you can start modeling on it. You can change the color you want. Okay, uh, you can use the paint tool, paint on it. Okay, and whatever you want to do, or like, like for example, if you uh, want to change uh, like kind of a uh, apply uh, like build up tool on it so you can apply build up tool on it you can see that it is applying okay also let's uh, undo this one art from meshes we can also import uh, external scenes for example the scene that we created in our last uh, like lessons, the walnuts. So we can import it here. So we just have to go to the file. Then instead of import mesh, we will choose import scene. And then we can choose our walnut scene. Okay, this is also uploaded and the link is given in the description below. So I will press on open here. And you can see that down here we have that scene. So I can keep all these walnuts in my uh, what you call this uh, wagon okay so this is how you can uh, bring some external scene and let put it inside now let's see how we can uh, apply the like the clay on the, our mesh and also how we can do the boolean let's delete uh, these objects from the external scene and also I can apply clay tool on it, like say I can create any sort of a clay tool here. For example, this part here. Okay, let's uh, reset this uh, like size of it. Okay, uh, put this somewhere here. Okay, squeeze it in this way. And then I can put it down here. Okay. And then if I press a uh, space bar, okay, and you can see it has become the part of it. Okay. So I can select this, uh, change the color of it uh, using the paintbrush tool. Okay. Take this color and paint on it. And you can see 
much more better uh, result here. I can also apply now uh, like Boolean operation on it. Like I can make a new layer. Okay. And then if I want to subtract this from the clay tool. So I can press space bar here. And then uh, I will come out of the... Uh, like I will come out of the edit mode, okay, by double clicking in the empty area. And then I will right click it here, okay, and then I will go to the Boolean and I will choose the subtraction, okay, then apply and then done. And if I will move it, and you can see there is a hole and very nice hole there, okay. So this is how you can let me delete this so uh, you can uh, import any 3D. A mesh then convert that into a clay tool and you can work on it really uh, nicely and you can apply whatever uh, effects you like like you want so in the next class we will learn how we can export uh, objects like uh, and uh, from uh, the 3d modeler okay and how we can export it from here and how we can import and other uh, third-party software if you find my videos interesting and useful then please click the like button and click on the bell icon to receive notifications about my new tutorials and courses if you are watching my videos and have not subscribed to the channel yet please subscribe it now and share it with your friends so they can also subscribe also follow me on instagram facebook twitter discord and amazon.com the links are given in the description below. In the end, I would like to request that please watch my videos online and do not download them because this will affect my watch time hours, which is quite demotivating for me. And uh, if you want me to create, continuously create these new courses, so please subscribe to my channel and watch all my videos online. Also like them and share them. So everyone take care, stay connected and see you in the next class.